my God. Oh my God. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a little different. I'm just going to start off by seeing that, uh, well, there's no really great way to say this, but my begonias, my Rex begonias have been completely infested by mealybugs. And well, yeah, <laughs> I'm feeling pretty crappy about this because I'm not just talking about you know, some sort of small infestation, especially on this one here. This thing is crawling with mealybugs. I literally want to cry. And in this video, I'm going to be battling the mealybug on my begonias. And just a little backstory. So I had moved these into Jeff's office for some time and I had been watering them and they were looking not the greatest and I was going to do this whole other video on them. And then when I sort of set them aside and started to take a closer look, I realized that they are completely infested with mealybugs and I'm gonna try to get some footage, like crazy amount of mealybugs, especially on this one, it's insane. So in today's video, it's going to be all about how to treat mealybugs, get them out of your life, be rid of them. So I'm going to be repotting these new fresh soil and treating them in a couple of different ways. And I'm going to explain how to on all of that. So stay tuned for some miserable mealybug entertainment in this video. Yeah. All right, guys, protection required. So. Step one, once you've finished crying and letting all of your anger out, is to realize it's gonna be okay. Oh, I just keep looking at them, they're so gross. Anyways, um, step one, deep breaths, deep breaths. Step one is going to be to repot these in some fresh new soil. I'm going to put an additive in that soil that is going to kill and destroy the mealybugs. And then I'm going to try and treat the plant in a couple of other ways. So uh, I think I'm gonna have to kind of tackle this one plant at a time. So yeah, I'm gonna start with this one, which is psycho infested. And yeah, just. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use two of these pots for the smaller Rex begonias. And then I have, uh, I picked up a larger, slightly different looking um, terracotta planter for uh, the bigger one. But I guess what I wanna start off by saying is uh, Rex begonias appreciate a bigger pot that is shallow and not deep. And that just has to do with kind of the root system and the rhizomes. So I'm gonna be using these. There's a drainage hole. Um, when it comes to soil mix for these plants, I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm using, but they prefer like a really light and airy soil mix. So I'll show you uh, the breakdown of that in a second, but I'm gonna be putting them in this uh, and then adding some of that additive to help fight these mealybugs. And so yeah, let's get started with the first one and see how that turns out. Just keep in mind, you know, I'm kind of doing this in a different area. I used to film back in this area uh, over a year ago and I'm back here just to keep these plants kind of separated from my other plants so that there's no contamination and I'm going to be really kind of conscientious and thoughtful of that when I'm making a mess by removing all of this soil mix. So just have some like you know, bags ready to kind of get rid of that organic material. And so yeah, let me um, mix up some of the soil mix I'll be using and I'll show you that right now. Thanks for checking out this video. I'm Tyler and if you like what you're seeing or find this video to be useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up or better yet, you can hit that subscribe button and to really show me some love, click on the bell for alerts and notifications for future content. And don't forget to check out my merch store, tylermossop.com. So guys, this is what I've mixed up. I've uh, put in some sort of medium fine coarse bark some vermiculite and some peat moss. Now in terms of ratios, I've used about 
one part of the uh, bark and one part of the vermiculite to about three parts of the peat moss. Now this should help keep it kind of light and airy. And uh, now I wanna show you that additive that I'm gonna be adding uh, to help fight uh, the pests. All right, so I'm gonna be uh, adding some of this product here, systemic, systemic houseplant insect control, um, not sponsored. I've mentioned this product a few times in the last few videos actually, and a lot of my repot videos. Uh, and this is why, because if you don't use this stuff, you're going to get a mealybug infestation. Anyways. It's gonna be okay. So uh, this stuff does protect against mealybugs and it says protects plants from damaging insects for up to two months, long lasting, na 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 na. Protects plants from damage by aphids, whiteflies, mealybugs, scale, and other listed insects. So if you read the instructions, it tells you how much you should be using. And I think in and around two tablespoons is probably the right amount for um, this quantity of soil. So I'm going to mix that up now. Um, and then I'm going to be tackling this after. All right, guys, so I'm just doing my best to um, kind of wiggle. Oh my God, something is crawling on my neck. I swear to God. Don't you hate that feeling when something... All right, it's gonna be okay. Anyways, I'm doing my best to... Wait, can you stop it? Something's literally crawling on my neck. All right, we're back. So I'm... Just, they're so effing many, I can't even begin. So, uh, I'm just removing this from the old pot. I have this kind of like plastic bin down so that it just captures any of the excess soil. Now, actually, I think this will be a good opportunity to kind of treat the plant, um, the leaves and the stems before uh, moving it to its new home. So I'm just gonna kind of give it a good shake. Um, just kind of, Loose, loosen the roots, and then what I think I'm going to do is put this down and show you guys some other products you can use um, just to kind of combat the mealy bugs. And I think actually before I do that, I'll just kind of go through and get rid of all of the, um, any dead leaves or dead foliage. So be right back. All right, so this next product, uh, no sponsorship here either, Garden Safe Houseplant and Garden Insect Killer. The important part, kills on contact. So <laughs> I'm going, and it's safe, protects your whole garden. Um, yeah, well, it's called garden safe. So I'm assuming that it's safe, um, but yeah, not safe for the mealybugs. So I'm going to just kind of very carefully and lightly spray the underside and overside of the, um, of the plant, of the begonia. But one thing I'm kind of thinking about and kind of worried about is that um, it's not really recommended to mist these plants because they don't really appreciate the moisture on the leaves and that kind of thing. So I'm not sure what kind of impact spraying the plant will have, but I am trying to save these plants um, instead of, you know, tossing them away, which I would never do, that's horrible. Um, but like I said, this is a very real, very serious mealy bug infestation. There are literally dozens of them on the underside of each of the leaves I'm seeing right now. And um, so yeah, I'm gonna treat it with this and hopefully that is uh, an extra step to just kind of, you know, get rid of these. So just a, a light coating or medium <laughs> underside. And then I'm gonna do the same thing um, on the top. All right, and maybe I'll spray that when it's in the pot because um, it will be a little bit more settled. But I think that's a good healthy spray for now. So um, let me organize myself and get this potted up in its new home with that new potting mix. Uh, that's being treated with that additive as well. All right, guys, so it is looking a little sad, but it's definitely uh, nice, uh, nicely settled into this new container with that new soil. And uh, before doing too much more, I think I'm just gonna go through and kind of prune back um, any areas that look like, um, like this, for example, but it's not doing so so, so great. So yeah, just go back, prune kind of any area that um, you know, needs to get gone because it's just maybe too far infected or ooh, whatever the case may be. Um, 
and then once I've done that I'm gonna come back and just kind of do an, a light little sort of spraying with um, this um, insect killer um, kills on contact <laughs> one more time and then obviously uh, I'm going to continue the same process for these other two begonias and then I'm going to keep them in Jeff's office <laughs> isolated uh, for some time just to make sure that these mealybugs aren't kind of traveling to any of my other houseplants and uh, also all of this soil that I'm collecting uh, will need to be discarded and all of the old uh, containers and saucers that I have I can run those through the dishwasher just to kind of sanitize uh, to sanitize those and we should be good to go so uh, give me a second to finish repotting up the other two be right back so potted this one up cut it back quite uh, a bit just removed a lot of those larger leaves that had a lot of mealybugs on it and did exactly the same thing as, with, as I did with the first one. Um, sprayed it kind of upside down while it was in this container, um, added the additive to the soil mix, potted it up, and then kind of just gave it a once over and a nice little spritz on the top. Uh, so now on to the bigger one. All right guys, so the begonias, these Rex begonias are nicely potted up in their new homes and I really hope that um, I've managed to give these plants a really good um, way to combat these mealybugs and I really hope these bounce back so stay tuned for a follow-up video uh, to see how it all turned out but uh, in the meantime I'm really happy with how they're kind of looking now and uh, I probably will hold off on watering these until tomorrow, just kind of let them settle in before I give them um, a nice good watering. But yeah, that was really intense. Really hope that I got rid of these little bleepers. And um, yeah, like I said, I'll follow up. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions or comments on what I did to try to rid myself of these mealybugs, then don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. Miss you guys already. Until the next one.